close your eyes. As you move into the state of consciousness known as meditation, visualize, if you will, within your field of vision, a large field of beautiful cornflower blue flowers within the green grass. What a wonderful place this is. You feel very much at home here and very safe. And although you do not remember seeing this field before, it somehow feels familiar to you. As you stand within this beautiful field, you notice a white star in the sky. You realize that the star is moving and as it comes closer into your field of vision, you realize it is not a star, but a large white bird. As the bird flies even closer to you, to your surprise, you realize it is not a bird either, but a white winged horse. The horse flies into the field and lands before you. It moves its head up and down as it gives out a loud neigh. Then it shakes its glorious white mane and stands still before you, looking at you with its big blue eyes. Well, hello, beautiful creature you say to the horse, aren't you simply lovely? The horse continues to stand before you, looking at you with his big blue eyes. You walk towards the beautiful white horse and carefully, so as not to startle him, you reach up and you stroke his glorious white mane. He does not mind, it seems, for he stands before you, steady, strong, still, silent. Wow, you are just so beautiful, you say out loud. And it is almost as if you are here for me. The winged horse moves his head and once again neighs in response to your words. Are you here for me? you ask. And once again, the white winged horse moves his head and neighs in response. Do I ride you? you ask. And again, the winged horse moves his head, neighs and leans down on one leg as if in a bow, as if to say you are to ride him. Excitedly and full of wonder, you climb up on this amazing horse's back and as soon as you are settled, he gives one last loud neigh and takes off into flight. You entwine your fingers through the winged horse's mane as you enjoy the exhilaration the excitement and wonder of the flight atop this magical horse. You fly above the field, above the trees, the forest and the houses below and up and up into the fluffy clouds above. Presently, you see a beautiful large lake surrounded by trees. Gracefully, the white-winged horse flies down 
and lands next to the lake. There is a man waiting by the lake. He is dressed in brown trousers, a white shirt and a little brown waistcoat. He wears brown felt boots upon his feet and when you finally arrive close enough to look at him, you see that he has little pointed ears. He looks like a goblin, a gnome or maybe a pixie. Hello, he says. He walks up to the white-winged horse and strokes him. There now, good boy, he says. The winged horse bows down again on one leg and you climb off the horse's back and stand on the ground beside the pixie man. As soon as you are standing on the ground, the winged horse gives another loud neigh and launches back into flight. You watch as he disappears into the sky, becoming a speck of white light and eventually disappearing from your view. I am Squib, guardian of Lake Euphoria, says the pixie. Are you a pixie, you ask? Sort of, he replies, and he smiles. You are here to swim in the lake, are you not? Am I, you reply. You notice a bathing outfit in exactly your size and a fluffy white towel nearby laid out upon a rock. You can change over there, says Squib, as he points to a private, sheltered clearing within the trees. What will happen when I swim in the lake, you ask? It is different for everyone but you will feel euphoric if you are open enough to and you should see all the things that are in alignment with your bliss. You thank Squib and you take the bathing outfit over to the private clearing. Once you have changed into the bathing outfit, you return to Lake Euphoria. Squib is nowhere to be seen, but the water in the lake looks so cool and inviting. You dip your toe into the lake, and to your surprise, the lake is exactly the perfect temperature for you. You get into the inviting, luxurious waters of Lake Euphoria and begin to swim. As you swim, you find that visions, memories, feelings, knowings and desires of all things, people, objects and situations that make you happy, contented, joyful and blissful come into your mind. You realize that you feel truly blissful and truly euphoric. All thoughts of relationships with others, physical comforts, finances, career, family, leisure time, creativity, spirituality, health, knowledge, love, holidays, pets, abstract thought, nutrition, relaxation, 
exercise, hobbies, and so much more, all thoughts give you feelings of bliss and euphoria. You realize that this emotion, this feeling of euphoria, is your key to wellness and alignment in all things. You realize that as long as you have access to this feeling of euphoria, that all things will align with that feeling. All will flow in bliss-charged love. All will manifest in alignment with your desires and with your mission. And you become aware that now you have found this magical place, Lake Euphoria, you can come here any time you choose and swim just as you are now. You continue to swim in the lake feeling blissful, peaceful and euphoric. After a while, Squib returns. Someone else needs to swim in the lake, so you had better get dressed now. But you know you can return here any time you want, says Squib. You take one last leisurely swim across the lake and then climb out onto the grassy bank. You retrieve your fluffy towel and wrap yourself in its comforting warmth. Thank you, you say to Squib, and you move back into the clearing to get dressed. Once you are dressed, you return to the lake, and a silver-winged horse stands beside Squib. Oh, another winged horse, you say. Yes, Squib replies, there are a great many of them. The silver winged horse bows down on one leg, just as the white winged horse had done, and Squib gestures for you to ride the silver horse. You climb upon the silver horse's back and hold on to his beautiful silver mane. Goodbye, do come back, shouts Squib as the silver horse takes flight. You wave to Squib and prepare to enjoy the flight atop this glorious silver horse. After a while, you notice the field full of cornflower blue flowers and the silver horse flies towards this field. The winged silver horse lands in the field and bows down on one leg. 
Thank you, beautiful silver horse, you say, as you climb off the horse's back and stand on the ground. The silver-winged horse bows his head and then launches back into flight. You watch as he disappears into the sky, becoming a speck of silver light and eventually he disappears from your view. As you stand there in the beautiful field of cornflower blue flowers within the green grass, you begin to feel the duality of the self standing within the field and the physical self in meditation with eyes closed. You begin to feel your feet and your toes. You wriggle your toes. You feel your legs and ankles. You feel your torso, your hands and your arms. You feel your head your neck and your shoulders. You stretch or move or do whatever is comfortable. And when you are ready, only when you are ready, you open your eyes. <laughs>